Good morning, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here with Jean Alcibon, the Foreign Minister of Luxembourg, a good friend. We have worked together now uh, for a year and a half on a lot of different issues. We're very grateful to Luxembourg for its uh, leadership, its work on the uh, Children in Armed Conflict Working Group. Uh, also, its important role played uh, as a member of the UN Security Council. Uh, and uh, over the course of uh, time, we have really been <coughs> locked together in efforts to be supportive of human rights, of individual rights. Uh, also, uh, Luxembourg has been very, very focused on and helpful in terms of the situation in Ukraine, where we are continuing to uh, uh, struggle uh, to try to calm things down and reduce the level of violence. Uh, Luxembourg is also um, a strong supporter of the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. And we believe together that this is one of the most important economic lifts that we could provide to Europe uh, and to ourselves. It's important for all of us. It represents 40% of the global GDP. It's a way to put our people to work. It's a way to guarantee economic growth. And we will talk about that and other issues, including the Middle East peace process. Uh, and we look forward to your presidency. Uh, I think of the last five months of the EU. Six, six, six months. Six months of presidency of the EU. So that will be a very important moment also of leadership. So we have a lot to talk about, and I look forward to it. And we actually are both very enthusiastic cyclists. Yeah. We're, <laughs> and looking for that moment when we can go out and enjoy it. In Luxembourg. Uh, in Luxembourg. <laughs> okay. yeah. Thank you very much, uh, dear Secretary of State. John Kerry, I effectively want to place uh, this visit in the context of uh, the partnership, uh, transatlantic uh, partnership, and mention maybe three points very briefly. The first point you started also with this is Security Council. We had been members since 1st of January 2013 till the end of this year, and I really want to stress this very fruitful and uh, effective uh, cooperation small Luxembourg, Hamburg, Luxembourg, and the uh, United States. On two points, I can give an example on Syria. Uh, maybe that you know that the, 17th, the 14th of uh, July now, a resolution was accepted to allow and to guarantee better <coughs> humanitarian assistance through uh, or across the borders of Jordan, of Turkey, of Iraq, uh, for 1.5 million people who need humanitarian assistance, and it is no more the Syrian government who gives the authorization, but it is the UN Security Council. And uh, Luxembourg, Australia, and Jordan, with uh, the US, we pushed it, and it's very nice. Also on the armed uh, conflicts, uh, children in armed conflicts, um, I want to thank you, John, because during your presidency in September of the Security Council, we will have a discussion, and you allowed us a slot on the children in armed uh, conflict, and this is very important. Second point, uh, Iran and the uh, Arab world. We know in Europe, and we know it in Luxembourg, how important it is, the Iran issue for, the American, uh, for, for America and also for Europe. Uh, we really want to prevent Iran uh, from uh, nuclear weapons and bring back Iran to a more constructive and positive way of cooperation in the international community. I was in Tehran a month ago. I will a little bit explain uh, the situation there as I saw it, but you can see in the streets everywhere, in Istafan or in, in Isfahan or in Tehran, that Iran wants to play another role. And uh, it's a crucial moment now. I hope that uh, the international community can, can do it. The second point is uh, if we find a solution and bring back Iran to more cooperative uh, and more constructive dialogue, I think they could play also an important role in Iraq, and that would be very important. On the Middle East pro peace process, I want to, to underline that your effort, John, was not uh, useless. It was really a big effort that you have done since, uh, uh, I think, July 2013 till uh, April 2014. But we can see that if 
there is a lack of talks. Immediately violence is coming up. And I think that uh, if we get this ceasefire, and if I say we, that's the international community and also Egypt, I think we have to support Egypt. We have to try uh, to restart immediately these uh, talks again. And uh, a serious effort has to be done also. I, I can say it here from the Israeli government, really, to bring uh, this two-state solution uh, to a... To a uh, to a two-state to solution to bring it uh, to conclusions. A last point that you mentioned, uh, John, uh, this uh, TTIP, this uh, partnership uh, uh, free trade agreement between uh, you and uh, Europe, it's not easy. We, we have to know it. It's uh, difficult, difficult negotiations. Um, I think that uh, there are red lines on both sides. We have to overcome these uh, red lines. And we have to play with more transparency to the public opinion, be it here or be it in, in Europe. The um, NGOs in, in Europe are asking very important questions and we have to give responses. And we have uh, really, I think, to try uh, to explain, to better explain the interests and the challenges. Sure. Uh, if uh, it is possible, uh, to come to conclusions, it would be, I think, in the end of 2015. And at this moment, as you mentioned it, uh, Luxembourg will have the presidency in the European Union, so it will be interesting for us. A last point, uh, 70 years ago, in December 2014, started the Battle of the Barge. Uh, it was the most important battle in Europe. Uh, 20,000 uh, people died. In Luxembourg, in the cemetery of Hamm, uh, 5,000 of these soldiers are buried, with General Patton also. And uh, in December, there will be, there, we will organize festivities, and uh, it would be for us really a big, a great honor, a great honor if uh, you, John, could be present uh, there. I think uh, it would be for uh, all, for our history uh, and for our friendship between Luxembourg and the United States, uh, a very uh, significant uh, presence there, and maybe that it is What's the date? It's okay. up to you to find it. I beg your pardon? You specifically talk about Middle East. What is your concern you guys about Gaza in that area? Well, our concern is uh, to have a legitimate ceasefire and see if we can find a way to stop the conflict killing so we can get to the real issues that are underlying it. Uh, and uh, we're doing everything in our power. I've been in touch with Prime Minister Netanyahu, with the Egyptians, the Prime Minister, with others in the region, and we'll continue to dialogue on it. I'll be seeing the President today, and we'll talk about it later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.